Hello, good evening, Cubs fans. Yes, Cubs fans, how are we doing tonight? Cubs fans, are you guys, I, I, I don't know how to say it any other way, but guys, with hello, Cubs fans, hello, baseball fans. Anybody watching this channel, um, I hope you guys are ready for a very, very exciting episode um, of Cubs Baseball with Rod Knight. I am very, very excited for this, so I hope you guys are as, enjoy it just as much as I do. Tonight, guys, is Wednesday, January 10th of 2024, and if I could just say this, guys... Tonight's episode is going to be epic. So welcome back to the channel of Cubs Baseball with Rod Knight, guys. And I got to be honest with you, it's going to be a fun, fun episode tonight. So get ready, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Well, guys, Cub fans, <clears throat> uh, yesterday was a, a little chaotic. Um, you know, we actually were getting the rumor that uh, Shota and Menga was going to go to the Cubs, even though a lot of other teams were uh, very, uh, very interested in him. Uh, the Cubs, of course, were one of those teams that were very, very highly interested in him. Uh, it couldn't get official because uh, it was pending a physical, of course, um, and all that. And then just a few hours later, I get the really good... News that Shota Mingo will be a Chicago Cub. And I got the opportunity to share that excitement with all you guys last night. And it, it, it made me so happy. And now, guys, now we get to talk the real business deal. Ladies and gentlemen, Cubs fans, the left-hander Shota Mingo has signed a four-year $53 million contract with the Chicago Cubs. You're hearing it right. It's four years, $53 million for Shota and Manga guys. But you know what? I think, and I, I just want to be very upfront and honest, I look forward to seeing what he does for the Cubs. I really, really believe that this is a really good move by the Cubs uh, itself. Very excited to see what he can do um, and all that. You, you, I mean, guys, I'm not going to co uh, compare him to Senga with the uh, with the Mets, even though he had an incredible 2023 season last year. But um, for Emenga, I this is a really, really good deal. And the Cubs picked up, um, I think, a really good um, piece for their starting rotation. Um, right off the bat, I am fully excited to see what this guy has to do. But Shota Emenia, guys, a four-year, $53 million contract. For some of you guys, that is not a lot of money. And in my opinion, that is not a lot of money. But, but, but like I said, very, very good chance that that month, that contract salary can go up, right? Uh, but we'll have to see what he does for the Cubs. Speaking of the Chicago Cubs in general, um, MLB on Fox um, put their projection out. Predict. In other words, is they are predicting. MLB on Fox is predicting the 2024 Chicago Cubs starting rotation and just to make it clear this is not official it is a prediction by mlb on fox so we're going to go to that right now the predicted chicago cubs 2024 starting rotation is the ace the left-hander justin Steele. okay i i 
I don't know. I mean, so Justin Steele is the ace. Um, Jamison Tyon is the second starter. The uh, third starter is Shota Amenga, the guy we just signed, uh, getting the number three spot. Kyle Hendricks, the number four starter. And Jordan Wicks, the number five starter. Guys, right there is amazing stuff. Um, three out of five are left-handers. That's okay with me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but um, I, I like it. I mean, especially with what Justin Steele did. I mean, he really stepped up as a Cub blaster. He had a great 2023 season. He, he, without a doubt, in my opinion, deserves to be the ace of the Chicago Cubs. Um, personally, that is my opinion, but spring training hasn't started yet, so we got to, you know, get through that, of course. But uh, to, to look at this starting rotation, um, I'm, I'm happy with it. I, I, I really am. I mean, even though the only righties in that starting rotation are the number two starter, Jamison Tyon, and the number four starter, Kyle Hendricks. By the way, guys, Kyle Hendricks is the longest tenured Cub in that starting rotation, and he's at the number four spot. Um, so uh, definitely uh, should be a fun year for the Cubs. It really should be. for. I, I really think for every all 30 MLB teams, it should be a, uh, a fun year. But Showtime Manga, again, guys, on a four-year, uh, $53 million contract. And then, you know, on top of that, we look at the projected 2024 Cubs starting rotation, and we see a Manga at the number three spot. I am okay with that. You don't really want to put too much pressure on a guy, right? But, um, yeah, uh, I like it. I like uh, where the Cubs are going. Hopefully, it will be a great 2024 season um, for the Cubs this year. Uh, I really hope that goes well. Hopefully, we have a great spring training. By the way, spring training games do begin next month. So there you go right off the bat, guys. Spring training baseball is literally around the corner. It doesn't feel like it, but it really is. Um, but, yeah, guys, to... To look at Justin Steele as the predicted ace of the starting rotation, um, I like it. And then, uh, you know, you got Amenga in the number three spot. Tyon, uh, he kind of struggled a little bit last year, but that's okay. It happens to the best of them um, and all that. And then, uh, of course, Jordan Wicks, um, he didn't even, he, I mean, he didn't, this year could be his, First season uh, full year on opening day roster for the big leagues. So uh, we, you know, uh, it, it feels right to give him that number five spot. But with all that said, guys, again, um, you know, Emenga's uh, contract uh, is official with the Cubs. Again, on a four-year, $53 million contract. And then to look at the uh, projected uh, starting rotation for the Cubs this year, it it, it just looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right, guys. Uh, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cubs Baseball with Rai Knight. Like I, this, it, it, it just feels like it's getting better each and every time. And all that. We, we definitely, uh, I thought this was a great episode it is special to share with you guys, uh, Cub fans, on on all that. So, again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping the like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I don't really want to go on and on and on and on all night. But um, about subscribing, when it comes to the Cubs uh, baseball, I think this is the channel you definitely want to uh, go with and all that and get all that exciting new stuff um, on the channel and all that. We do have a lot of good things uh, in the in the coming weeks that will be really fun on this channel that I have planned to make that announce, uh, plan to announce. So make sure you um, keep up for that. But 
Uh, I'm going to leave it at there, guys. Again, thank you all so much for watching. It is almost Friday, so yes, day after tomorrow is Friday, then the weekend. Uh, I'm going to kind of shut up now, so have a great rest of your night, uh, Cub fans. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, y'all.